Hi everybody. I'm going to talk about how to find the sum of all the elements in an array. So let's say before we get started, we already have an array set up given that looks something like this. And we want to find the sum of the elements of that array. So this array is a vector. It's a one-dimensional array. So we'll set up our code to um, find the sum of that vector. I'm going to show you how to do this both in uh, MATLAB and in C++ to kind of show you that it's a similar technique for both languages. And actually for pretty much all programming languages, it's going to be a similar technique. So the first thing that you want to do when you are um, calculating the sum of the array is you need to find out how many elements are in the array. And that's very easy to do in MATLAB using uh, built-in commands like the length command or the size command. In uh, other programming languages, it's a little more roundabout to get to that. So I'm not really going to go through and show you how to do that in this video. That's a subject for a different lecture. So we'll assume that we already know how many elements are in the array. In this case, there are seven. So we'll just uh, define that directly. But know that in MATLAB, you can use the length command and do this dynamically every time. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define the size of the array. Since this is a vector, we just need to define a single dimension. So in MATLAB, we'll do MATLAB on the left side, we'll do C++ on the right side. In MATLAB, we'd say something to the effect of n equals 7. If we were doing this in C++, which we'll do on the other side here, uh, we'll define our array size. It'll be very similar. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to do. Once we do that, now we can use for loops to go through and um, calculate our array. But before we start doing that, we need to initialize our total that we're going to try to calculate. So we'll do that next. And again, we'll do that in um, C++ as well. I'm giving it the uh, data type of double. Because we're using integers in our array, we could use integers as well. But um, just in case we're using an array that does not contain integers, it contains real numbers, we'll go with double. That'll get us, that'll be a little more universal. And that's actually technically what's going on in MATLAB as well. So now we need to set up our for loops to go through and calculate everything in the array. So here's our for loop. In MATLAB, it'll look like this. In C++, it'll look more like this. And now we can find the sum. We'll do that inside of our for loop. Notice that in C++ and MATLAB, these are basically exactly the same. The only difference is the square bracket that you use in C++ versus MATLAB. So what I'm trying to show you here is that these are going to be exactly the same code in both languages. Slightly different syntax, same code. Okay, that'll be the end of our for loop on both sides. That's supposed to be a curly brace. Let's try that again. Just to... There we go. We close off our curly brace. Okay, so now we've got the sum of our the contents of our array in both C++ and MATLAB. And again, just to show you that it's the same code in both languages. But like I said, if you're defining your array size uh, more dynamically, that's easy to do in MATLAB using the length command. Uh, 
In C++ is a little more difficult to do because you have to get the size of the array, but it gives that to you in bytes. So then you have to convert that into actual array elements by knowing the data type, and there's a few steps involved. Um, okay, so now let's say we want to move along to uh, a multi-dimensional array. So here we have everything for a vector, that's the one-dimensional array, but let's say we have a two-dimensional array. So we'll scroll up here and we'll write out our two-dimensional array. So now we want to find the sum of this array. What we're going to do first is we're going to look at it in the same way that we did the sum of our vector. So we'll look at both pieces of code here. This time we'll just do it in MATLAB. Uh, you've seen it in C++ to see the uh, comparison. Now we'll just do this in MATLAB. So and also I'll show you in this case how we do this a little more dynamically as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our array size. So we can do that using the size command. So this is going to return the rows and the columns. So in this case, there are three rows and there are four columns. Now we're going to set up our, our total so that we can um, go through and accumulate that accumulate our total. So total equals 0.0. .0. So we're going to start off at 0 and we're going to go through and we're going to accumulate our total through here. So here's what we did in our sum of vector code. We got our for loop. That was for i equals 1. In this case we'll go to rows instead of n because we don't have n. And then inside of that code, inside of that for loop, we accumulated our total. So we said um, total equals total plus, uh, in this case, it's T I. And that would get our sum of a vector. Now, for this case, we don't have a vector. We have a two-dimensional array. So we need to do something a little different in order to make sure we get both dimensions. Right here, we've got one for loop that goes through the rows, but we also have to go through each of the columns as well. So all we need to do to do that is add another for loop. And once we add that for loop, we also need to include both array indices in our total accumulation here. So the difference here between the sum of our vector up here and the sum of our two-dimensional array here is we have one extra for loop in the two-dimensional array and we have one additional array index in our um, in our calculation of the total. Now we could expand this further. If we were going to use a three-dimensional array instead of a two-dimensional array then we'd have three for loops and three array indices. We had a four-dimensional array. We need four for loops and four array indices. So whatever number of dimensions you have, that's the same number of for loops you need and the same number of array indices when you're calculating your total.